my friends today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different um, you're only gonna see my hands because I am going to be doing a cool little tarot reading for everyone today I was just really called to do a reading today and I'm also bringing out my angel numbers book by Kyle Gray this is an amazing book uh, it gives you all kinds of information on different angel numbers uh, the last couple of days, 444 four, four has been really ringing true for me. And the number 444 four, four is you are surrounded by 100,000 angels. Miracles are happening before your eyes. So if there's anybody out there that can really resonate with what's going on around you and seeing that there are some transformations that are just really coming through right now, Definitely check that out. Um, you are surrounded by a hundred thousand angels, not just one, folks, not just two, but a hundred thousand. And I'm gonna see if the number four four four. Yes, uh, it's also this um, this morning. I woke up at four four four. Yesterday, I saw a um, the time was four four four, and a friend actually called me at that time. Your guardian angels want you to know that they are with you. Your prayer, prayers are being heard loud and clear. Have faith. So if any of you are having a really hard time with faith right now, I totally understand because there is so much change, so much evolution, so many things that are happening that at times we feel like we don't know why and we don't want to. But we also have to have faith in the fact that things are going the way they need to when they need to for the purpose that they need to go. So now I am going to start off with Lightworker Oracle by Elena Fairchild. And I don't know if it's Elena or Alana, but this woman is incredible. I actually was like taking inventory and I have so many of her decks in my possession because she is just an incredible person give me a little bit less than that she is just an incredible person um i've seen her in some workshops not personally but throughout time there has just been so much that i've been able to see so we've got our first card master healing just a beautiful way to start this off because we see how we are so connected and how the angels are literally just universe is surrounding us the world as we know it we are opening up we are expanding as a society as a race as a species you just see his peaceful love the brightness of his soul just opening up the power that we each possess inside of us is really ringing true this year. It is just so amazing. Uh, the other card, the Divine Feminine, Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. I mean, look at the balance within these two. Look at the beauty that each one holds. I think it ironic that they put a man on here because we've never really, at least for myself, haven't really associated men with healing but in these next few years uh, from what I keep hearing is 25 years there is going to be some massive changes there's going to be a balance between the feminine and the masculine that there has never been before and I am just so excited to see what happens in this time frame of really bringing in the wisdom of the divine feminine with the masculine healing energy it's just beautiful let's keep going for this one i'm already excited this is really nice i've i uh, actually was told to do this for a, for huh spiritual spiritual protection so one of the things that really comes to mind at this is that we are constantly being bombarded from so many different directions and when we place ourselves in this healing bubble, this bubble of protection, then the things that might be coming at us, around us, will not affect us in the same ways. And, and I mean, honestly, like the last couple of weeks for me have been a pretty wild ride. 
and just thinking about it as I've been allowing people into my bubble and I don't know if this is applying to all of the people that are listening in right now but allowing people to penetrate that bubble of like this is me this is who I am this is what belongs to me this is what I have control over and everything else is outside of me really protecting yourself and saying keep remaining centered allowing your heart to be free within that space and not closing off but shining the light through everything else will really help you folks out within the next week or a couple of weeks and i'm gonna just say this is timeless because you always listen or have the message when it is exactly when you need it so just take it at that, okay? Mm. Fourth ray of harmony. We are just really opening up in this time. We're expanding our consciousness. We are we have stepped into the new reality. This isn't just happening or Everyone keeps saying, oh, we're walking into a new dimension or it's happening or it's coming. No, it's here. It is here. And everyone that is open to this new reality, this new consciousness is receiving it already. We are opening our hearts and our minds. Our spirits are just expanding at such a rapid rate. So just know that you are safe, that you are protected that the divine femin feminine, the masculine, and the masters of healing are really by our sides right now, really working together to, to clear all of these old messages that we've been given that we're not enough. Um, for me, there's something that I've been working with a lot with it, which is shame, feeling ashamed of my wants, feeling ashamed of what I need, feeling ashamed of voicing things, uh, feeling ashamed of what I feel too. All of those little things bubbling up, if you don't really allow yourself to open and let it go, then you're not really receiving all of the beautiful messages that are really literally around you everywhere. Even with the 444s, uh, we are surrounded on a constant basis and some of us, we don't even know that we are. Hmm. And Archangel my Raphael. So Master Hilaron, which in all honesty, I've never really heard of his before. But Archangel Raphael, he and I know each other very well. This guy shows up in so many of my sessions, my healing sessions. He just is really beautiful to work with. I wish I could convey in words what it is for when he shows up because there's just such an absolute love that comes through with this card so just know here in archangel Raphael, he is an angel he is an angel that is surrounding you as well so take heed of that because he is just a very powerful beautiful being all right, let's move on to the next one. We're going to go to Spirit Cards, John Mosley. So I actually was at a meditation and this girl had these cards and she said that he actually came from Sedona. Which I was like, what? He sells them, sells them in Sedona. Um, such a beautiful place. So much energy there. I mean, healers on every corner that you could see. Just a very amazing place to see that the new reality, the, the new world is literally there. All right, what do we have first? Dear Spirit, awareness sensitivity and gentleness honestly this just screams be gentle with yourselves guys as a person that is guilty of being very very harsh and critical of myself 
Um, there is a little bit of resistance to this, but honestly, being gentle with ourselves is one of the most important things that we can do. Giving ourselves that ability to say, okay, I see what's happening. I see and I feel and I understand myself in this moment. I want to just feel at peace. I want to be sensitive with myself. Be gentle with yourself. So when I say be gentle, and it's funny because some of the clients that I have, they're just like, gentle, what do you mean by gentle? Being gentle, all that means is if you made a mistake, you don't come at it with fire of like, I'm just going to burn myself down. I'm stupid. I'm dumb. I'm worthless. I am all of these different things. Being gentle with yourself is really saying, I made a mistake or I wish this would have gone a little bit differently and it didn't, but that's okay because things change and evolve every single day. That's what we were given free spirit for was to change, to evolve, to make differences. So heed the deer today, heed how gentle and sensitive they are how beautiful they are they've been actually surrounding my neighborhood a lot lately and each time i drive past them i just feel like this calm serenity of like oh my god nature is really coming through i'd never seen them by my house before we've been seeing horse as well there but it really just brings into that caring love gentle i mean i literally even drive so much slower in my yard or in my neighborhood now because i'm like watching out for these beautiful gentle creatures and it fills my heart not like in a oh my god they're so annoying now i have to watch out for them no it's like i want to be understanding and aware of what's around me so be aware of what's around you. Allow yourself to be sensitive about what's around you and gentle to what's around you because we really are all one. And here we go into the fire spirit. Purification, energy, passion, just all of the, the really what is being represented in our shift right now, the shifts that we have been going through and that are constantly evolving in. So this year is the year of fire. And I've just been hearing that over and over and over again, is that this year is the year of fire. And that old paradigms are being burned up and left into ashes. And now it's time for us to build as well. So as fires go and things are just being pretty much torn apart, burnt down, we also have the ability to grow from there, the ability to rise above this. Huh. Um, I do find it appropriate, very appropriate, that today is Martin Luther King's birthday. And my daughter, she is the cutest, sweetest soul I've ever met in my whole life. And she just keeps telling me that she wants to listen to Martin Luther King. Well, with him, his passion, his fire inside of him actually moved for change, for evolution, for growth. Isn't that amazing? One person can really create change and evolution and rise, rising above some of the hardest things in our in our world. I mean, my daughter, whenever she talks about him and she's been talking about him for the past week or so due to school, she says, mom, he helped us stop being like this. We were like this before and now we're not. He helped us stop being like this. And all I could see is being in chains and she's seven. So it was like, huh? Her, her slavery is this, being locked up, being in chains, being bound. And he really did his change, his want, his need for something different. 
fairness, justice really brought in by his fire, his passion, his energy to, to see change. Yet he was still so gentle and sensitive and aware of how he brought that change around. So we can all definitely learn from that right now. Whale spirit, depth, stillness, and resonance. I mean, really does embody what it is that some of the greatest leaders of our time, of our world, have done to change society, change what is being done around us every single day. That depth within us. There, I mean, I don't know if you've ever heard a whale sing, but it is just immense and beautiful and calming and peaceful. And it, it brings like this tranquility that I've never known in my life before. But here it is. It's like when we allow ourselves to feel that depth, that stillness, we create resonance. We are able to affect so we create those ripples. The moment that you stand in your passion, are sensitive, aware to what it is that's happening around you, inside you, you will create change. You are change. Regardless of how hidden or how alone you might feel, you are the change that can really drive this whole new world that's so beautiful okay is there anything else in this deck that we need to hear wildness freedom and belonging i really think that when we embrace our depth our willingness to change our awareness of what's going on around us, we will feel belong like we belong. We will actually feel the freedom of this wolf spirit. We're in the wilderness. We are in the wild. We are literally walking through the wild every single day. And we all crave this freedom. And all of what has been said today really comes down to are we going to be free or are we going to let ourselves be chained? Choice is ours, right? All right. Last deck. All right, and this is the Archangel Animal. <laughs> Deer, the first one up there, so that's just funny. Trust and in the support of the universe. I'm not going to pull that one just because we definitely have heard a lot from the deer today. Oh, I love that. That. See truth. See through illusion into truth. I mean, that is exactly what we are seeing here now. All of these illusions have created these hard things for us. We have been stifled in pursuing our passion, pursuing our truth. And right now we are really having to see through the illusion into the truth, into what each one of us want. Recognize your significance, your significance. You are powerful. You literally change the world. Your heart, your mind, your actions will move us into the right direction. Really learning how to look through what you're seeing into the deepest meaning, the deepest reality. 
of that. And knowing that we are just constantly supported by all of these amazing beings. I think it's funny that we have another water animal, the dolphin, live joyfully and in the present. And that really comes down back to the whale card that I pulled earlier is that tranquility, that resonance that comes from, I mean, even, even dolphins, they're, they just sing together. They're like the most amazing creatures that you could see. They swim together. They love each other so wholeheartedly. They're passionate. They're open. They take care of each other. And we really need to start opening up and learning how to take care of each other. Even with this card that talks about protection, nowhere in here does it say close your heart. None of these cards are showing us to close our heart to each other. None. They're, they're open. They're open to love, open to receive acceptance, understanding, compassion, love. And the last card for today is Badger. Bring your life into balance. And in that balance, what does your balance look like? Is it working with your family, loving your family? Um, when I say family, it doesn't have to mean like everyone brothers, uncles, cousins, sisters, none of that. It means who you see as your family and who you want to say, this is my inner circle, bringing your life into balance. Maybe you're working too hard or you're doing all of these other things that you don't really necessarily want to, but you're doing because you have to. Finding little things that you can say, okay, this is either I'm going to delegate this out and it's not going to have to be my responsibility anymore. I'm going to take this off my plate or even saying, okay, now I've been doing too much in one aspect of, of my life. Now I want to really hone in on how I can balance these things out. All right. Well, thank you all so much. I'm going to just move this up. <laughs> this is my first tarot reading ever on my YouTube channel. So I really appreciate you all joining in on with me. And I hope that you really enjoyed this reading. And have a wonderful day. Okay, thank you.